Hi friends, it's Laura here. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all having a great day. I just thought I would do this video intro kind of here in the car. I'm getting ready to go into the store, but I, uh, it's sometimes one of the only quiet spots I can find, right? <laughs> so, but in this video, um, we took on a project that ended up being a little bit more than what I thought it would be. Usually that happens with projects, but um, it's it, the end result was worth it though. Um, I'm so happy. Our kitchen floor, um, it's just old, had old cracked tile and stained old grout. So we found like a box of tile in the garage and I was going to replace the um, cracked tile with a, a box of new tile that we found in the garage. So we started trying to um, peel up some of the cracked tile and it ended up some of them were really easy, but some of them were really hard. And so it ended up taking them longer than what we thought. Um, and then I wanted to repaint the grout like a darker color. Um, the lighter color grout was just, you know, a family of six, kitchen traffic in and out. It was just getting really stained and it didn't look good. I thought if I went like maybe a few shades darker, um, I could kind of cover up, you know, it could kind of hide dirt more and things. Um, and I ended up, it ended up looking really nice. So without further ado, we'll jump into the video and show you what we did. So here is a look at the tile before we started, um, before we got started on it. You can see this is kind of some of the cracked pieces there on the corner. And then the grout was just all kinds of different colors. There's some of the cracked pieces right there. And several of the tiles look like this. Um, mostly over by the stove, kind of where there's more of a high traffic area. But right in this area um, was kind of right where people walk in through the mud room. So it had quite a uh, few stains over here in the grout and then, you know, the big crack there. And But some of the tiles had even bigger cracks than that. So it's like no matter how hard I tried keeping it clean and everything, it still just looked messy. So I'm starting to break away some of the tiles and then we realize there's an issue because they come out all crumbly. These tiles here, so we had a dishwasher, uh, our old dishwasher leaked water one time and flooded kind of all around in here. We tried, you know, dry it out, clean it up as best as we possibly could. Apparently, it had soaked through the grout and went under the tile. So, these tile here are just crumbling and coming up in these chunky, awful pieces and stuck to the floor. Then, we've got an issue. This is mold. So, we're going to have to rip all the rest of these out, get rid of the mold, and then go from there. So my dad come over and kind of looked at it. He built, he's a carpenter. So he's gonna come back tomorrow. Um, him and my mom, they've been helping, or my mom helped me tear. So that is the plan. I'm gonna try to get the rest of these up because they, these seem to be coming up okay. But these were like really stuck. And we gotta deal with the mold. So, yep, of course. A project that I thought maybe I could do in a week. It's going to turn into longer, possibly. But this is the main corner where the tiles were broken and um, where the water went, I guess. So, anyway, that is where we're at. So, here is day two. I wasn't able to film a lot today. There just was not any room and things for cameras was with both my parents and all the tools and the shop vac and me and the, we were all down there. So <clears throat> anyway, we got, we dealt, oh, excuse me, we dealt with the mold. I got rid of that. And now we have um, some of the tiles down and they are setting up. We could not finish this row tonight because we realized we're going to have to cut the tile because what come out from under there before had been cut. So this row, we weren't able to stick down yet. And the other row on the other side. And 
then we were able to um, get all of these stuck down. So basically, <laughs> Mittens is supervising here. We've got everything stuck down um, that we could and it's gonna cure overnight. And then hopefully tomorrow, my dad's gonna cut um, these tile. We'll get those down and the ones along the other side. And then hopefully, once that's all down, and then those will have to sort of cure and stick, and then it'll be ready to do the grout. And then, of course, the plan is to paint the grout. So another thing I wanted to do was change the hardware on the cabinets and kind of update it a little bit. So I got these handles or pulls from Menards, and they come like 10 to a pack, so they were really reasonable. And so while the tile was kind of drying, curing, we decided to change out the handles. And my daughter, she wanted to help. So um, it was pretty easy. Most all of them, except for a few, we had to get uh, my dad and my husband in on those. But most of them we changed ourselves. And I just love the color of them. I think it just kind of brings out the dark tones in the wood. And then um, uh, matches kind of the countertop and things. So... That's what we're doing here, just changing out all the hardware and getting the new ones put on. Now here you might say, what is going on? That looks like a lot of work. <laughs> Which, at first we tried painting the grout, just freehanding it, and it was not working out. So we got the painter's tape, and it looks like a lot of work, but actually all of us together, it really went pretty fast. And as you can see here, my mom is peeling up um, some of the tape here which to me is like so satisfying just to see like those clean crisp lines and so the color that I went with in the grout um, was called mocha and it was a grout uh, kind of stain paint that I got from Lowe's so I'll try to link it if I can below but it really didn't take much at all I bought like two bottles and we barely even got through the first one so uh, I have some extra for later on for some touch up but definitely laying this tape down, it, it looks like it was a lot of work, which, and it was, but it went a lot faster than we thought, and it just made the painting go so much faster. So I feel like, um, you know, you could do it either way, but freehanding the painting was just taking a long time. So this seemed to speed up the process for us, as long as you get that tape down and just make sure it's you know straight across and it doesn't have to be perfect honestly i mean really you, you couldn't tell you know unless you got down on the floor and looked real close but it turned out really well and it just kept the lines you know crisp and clean So here is one side of the kitchen that we got finished so far. So I just wanted to film a little bit of how my mom just laid out the tape, just kind of making sure it was um, along the grout line and then she just kind of like took her nail and peeled it off at the corner and then started with another piece on top of that so that way you didn't have to make sure like your corners were perfect. Um, see how she's laying it over the top. But then my camera ran out of storage and I didn't get all of it on there. 
Here's coming around the corner here. That's where all those tiles were that I had to peel up, that we peeled up. And um, of course we had to re-grout that corner there with new grout and then paint over it with this color. But oh my goodness, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It just looks brand new again. I love the new hardware on there. It just kind of brings out the countertop. And then here's like a look. This is where all the tile came up right around in there. Um, and then got my rugs down now. So yeah, it was definitely a, you know, a lot of work, but definitely worth it. And I'm just so thankful to everyone who helped us. Um, we couldn't have done it without them. And so now it just feels like we've got like a new kitchen floor. I'm just so excited. But thank you all so much for being here. If you like this video and wouldn't mind to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I would love to have you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next one. Take care and God bless.